Welcome back, Every Pony. My name Sarah's is Tommy. enough of a head start. Grab that data file and let's go. The one you call Saren has not reached the conduit. Not yet. There is still hope if you hurry. Then shut up! Okay. I got I got renegade points? Wow. I can't believe in that whole conversation I would get Oh, because I said it was necessary. And I called them cowards. Right. That doesn't really matter anymore because I already have God damn look at that renegade points. And a little bit of Paragon points. But more to the point, look at those renegade points. I'm out. God, I'm a renegade. Uh, and I'm almost level. Ooh, look at level I'm at. Uh, oh, I'm level 42. Okay. Yeah, yeah. In the last episode. So, the long and short of it is, is that at the very end of the Prothean era, they, uh, they discovered the secret of this conduit that was able to stop the Reapers from coming back. So that means for literally hundreds of years... That means for literally hundreds of years... The Reapers have just been waiting and planning this thing with Saren or maybe even others. I'd be interested to see, like, who were the others that they tried to get? And why didn't they work? Oh, 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 okay. Oh, okay, uh... Little buggy, uh, uh, car ride, that's all. Whee! I should not be able to stop on this, but whatever. Thank you! You're too kind. And so now we're racing Saren to get to the conduit. Because if Saren reactivates the conduit, then the Reapers can just, you know... Well, not reactivate the conduit, but activate the conduit and, and mess up the programming in order to let the Reapers come back. So if they come back, we're screwed. Ah! I, I don't know. The Reaper's plan actually... I, I, the one thing that they, um... That the VI said that made sense... There, the conduit. It's incredible. We don't have time to admire the view. We have to get through that relay. And these Geth aren't gonna make it easy on us. Alright, well then go. Go on. Oh! Oh! That... Those are... Those are... Oh! Oh, oh. Activate the defenses. Seal the station. The arms aren't moving. Systems not responding. Abandon the Citadel. Evacuate the Council. Citadel Control. Citadel Control. Do you copy? Oh. We are late. We are far too late. Oh, that is bad. Oh, oh, that's not good. Let's just run. Oh, we got 20 seconds. Oh, we got 17 seconds. Oh, I'm sorry? 
Did we just get launched through space? Critical failure was detected across all monitored systems. Please begin emergency evacuation. you buddy oh man is this it Avina the presidium is experiencing severe system malfunctions across the entire level all non-emergency personnel must evacuate immediately give me a rundown of the damage we have lost all primary power to the level. Environmental controls are not responding. Class 3 fires are burning in sectors 2, 3, 6, and 7. Civilian casualties are high. Yeah, never mind the fact that the Reaper fleet is right outside! Authorized synthetic life forms throughout the station. They are believed to be hostile. Please approach with caution. Uh, okay. Yeah, well, uh, tell me where Saren is. Where's Saren? Former Spectre agent Saren Arturius is nearing the vicinity of the council chamber. A warrant has been issued for his arrest, though Citadel Security is unable to respond at this time. Great. Great. That that's great. We need to stop Saren before it's too late. Great. Let's begin emergency evacuation procedures. Thank Thank you. Thank you. You're you're great great. Wait a minute. Was there anywhere else to go? No, there wasn't. No, I I imagine it's not. This isn't. Is this the end? Saren! The keepers? Not the keepers. Don't let the enemy ships inside the arms. You're going to die. Whoa, wait. Oh, oh, oh boy. They just that thing just plowed. Did Saren just close the Citadel? Oh, hey, hey, uh, Sovereign, right? Uh, oh, geez. Oh, this is, this is awkward. Uh, could you come back another time? Uh, maybe when you're not so prone on death? <laughs> Oh, this is a bit phallic. Oh, oh, this... This doesn't look good at all. Wait. Let's lock the elevator. Suit up. We're going outside. And doing what? Oh, that's, that's a thing that happened. Tyrik! <laughs> Do the gravity walk. Oh, oh, oh my. Oh, hey there, random thing flying through space. Oh, um... Let's just go down here!
What? Did you honestly think you could sneak up on me? Did any of you think that you could up me? I am Tyrick Shepard! Thank you. Go fly into space. You're you're not wanted anymore. Ah. Ah, I'm overheating. Ah, they're shooting rockets. Oh boy. Oh boy, this is a this is an exciting end. Is this the end? Are we really at the end? I didn't even get Rex's super armor that I was supposed to get him. And 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 Tali. Oh oh boy. Thank you. Guys, heal! Oh, give me that Citadel defense turret. Give me this one too. All right. Use the Omni Gel, I don't care. I've lost shields. Oh, I, I need a place to hide. I know I lost shields. I need to activate another one of these. All right then. You got nothing. Also, heal. Also, recharge those shields. Also, yeah. All right, what 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 are we what oh my gosh, what do we got going on here? Wait, mount mount what? Mount what? Come on. I I I guess we're going down this way. Right? That's the only logical thing. Is this where I'm going? Yeah. Watch out. No, 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 no. Easy guys, easy. I can't afford to lose any of you.
There we go. That's what I need. That's the ticket. Th and thank you for saving. Now quickly after Saren to stop him from doing whatever it is he's doing. I want to kill him. I don't care what his plan is or Oh! Oh, good job. Good job, Mass Effect. If you don't remember, in the first episode, I had mentioned that... Um, not the first episode, but one of the earlier episodes, I had mentioned that... You know, one of the characters comments on how this is like a st strategic defense point in a firefight. Well, stop losing shields! Rex! Cut it out! Saren! I swear to God, you're dead! Or, you know, unless you kill yourself. to wipe out a few hundred of your followers along the way. Sorry if I kept you waiting. You've lost. You know that, don't you? In a few minutes, Sovereign will have full control of all the Citadel systems. The relay will open. The Reapers will return. Okay, no, you're you're a bad guy. Uh, mm, uh, <laughs> What do you tell the God of Death? Not today! I've still got a few tricks up my sleeve. You survived our encounter on Vermeer, but I've changed since then. Improved. Sovereign has upgraded me. Fancy hardware is not gonna save you. You don't understand, Shepard. There is a place for organics in the New Order. The Reapers need men and women of action. People like us. Sovereign recognizes your value. You've impressed it. Surrender to the Reapers, and you will be spared. Join us, and we can find a place for you. That's, that's a, no! As a slave? I'd rather die than live like that. Then you will die, and your companions. Everyone you know and love. Everyone you've ever met. Don't you understand? You will all die. Yeah. The Reapers can't be stopped. Not by the Protheans. Not by you. The cycle always continues. The Reapers don't use organics. They devour and discard them. As soon as the conquest is over, you'll be cast aside. I had no choice. You saw the missions. You saw what happened to the Protheans. Surrender or death. There are no other options. You could have resisted. You could have fought. Instead, you surrendered. You quit. Maybe you're right. Maybe there is still a chance for... for... The implants. Sovereign is too strong. I'm sorry. It is too late for me. Pull yourself together! There's still one way to stop this. If you've got the guts. Goodbye, Shepard. Thank you. Yeah! Fuck you! Oh! Oh! Oh my god! Yes! Give me my renegade points! Vigil's data file worked. I've got control of all systems. Quick! Open the station's arms. Maybe the fleet can take Sovereign down before he regains control of the station. See if you can open a communications channel. The destiny is 
Ascension. Main drives offline. Kinetic barriers down 40%. The Council is on board. I repeat, the Council is on board. Normandy to the Citadel. Normandy to the Citadel. Please tell me that's you, Commander. Of course! You were expecting someone else? We caught that distress call, Commander. I'm sitting here in the Endura sector with the entire Arcturus fleet. We can save the Ascension. Just unlock the relays around the Citadel and we'll send the cavalry in. You'd sacrifice human lives to save the Council? What have they ever done for your kind? This is bigger than humanity. Sovereign's a threat to every organic species in the galaxy. That's why you can't throw away reinforcements trying to save the Council. Hold them back until the Citadel arms open up and the human fleet can go after Sovereign. Yeah! What's the order, Commander? Come in now to save the Ascension? Or hold back? Ha 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 ha! Uh... Concentrate on Sovereign? You know what? Fuck him! Hold off, Joker. We're not sacrificing human lives to save the Council. Keep our ships back until they can get a shot at Sovereign. Let the Council die to save the galaxy. A tough decision. I hope you made the right choice. All Alliance ships, home formation. Wait for a shot at Sovereign. Nothing else matters. I repeat, nothing else matters. God, God damn right! Commander, we're picking up reinforcements. It's the Alliance. Open a comm channel. This is the Ascension. We're taking heavy damage. Guardian defenses are over... Kinetic barriers are offline. Commander, they closed the channel. You shouldn't have been running away. You should have been sending all of your ships at Sovereign. Sucks to be you. Now we're going to take our shot. Make sure he's dead. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, make sure he's dead. Oh, wait. Oh, no. Oh, no. Don't. No. Don't. Guys. Guys. Okay, good. Double tap. Always important. Always important to double tap. He's dead. Um. Alright. Alright, I knew this was coming. I think it is. Oh! Oh, okay. I am sovereign, and this station is mine. Uh, oh, I'm overheated. I need this. God. Ah, don't you run away from me. That's goddamn right! He dead! You dead! Y'all dead! Ah, oh, they're dead too. Sovereign's too strong! We have to pull back! Negative. 
Negative. This is our only chance. Take that monster down no matter what the cost. Damn right! Oh, I'm still fighting you! I've lost shields. around too fucking fast though oh my gosh Shields. oh 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 uh ah uh, yeah uh. ah ah where is he where is he no 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 come on Rex you need to take Come on, I, I hate you! Yes! Yes! Now he's dead! Uh, yeah. Everyone may may want to get the hell out. The shields are down. Now's our chance. Get it with everything we got. All right, Admiral Hackett. Hard on my flank. We're going in. Oh shit. Oh. Oh. Is everyone all right? Oh, please tell me. Please tell me my best buds are alive. They're my best buds. <gasps> oh, the humanity. Oh, the destruction. <gasps> I can't take it! Captain Anderson, we found him! They're in here! Yeah! Rex, Tolly! You motherfuckers! Take it easy. It's over. You're so far. <laughs> Where's the commander? No. Oh. <gasps> What do you tell the god of death? NOT TODAY! I AM 
Tarek Shepard! The rest of you can go to hell! <laughs> yeah! We got your message, Ambassador. What's all this about? No need to get worked up, Captain. I'd like to end this meeting with all my teeth still in place. BAM! You should thank me for what I did. If the Normandy was still grounded, we'd all be dead right now. I understand, Captain. You did what you had to do. That's not why you're here. We need to talk about what happened to the Council. Commander Shepard did the right thing. We had to hold our fleet back to go after Sovereign. It was the only way. I agree. But this also presents us with an opportunity. Oh, the motherfucker! The galaxy is looking for leadership. The Citadel fleets were decimated in the attack. The losses have made the Alliance stronger. If we step forward now, nobody will be able to stop us. Ah, oh, what are you suggesting? You have a plan? The galaxy needs leadership. Real leadership. When the crisis hits, we can't be paralyzed by debate like the old council. The new council must rule with a single voice. It must be assembled from one species alone. Humanity. Uh, even Tyrick would... Well, actually, no. Tyrick Shepard would clearly want to rule the world by himself. Uh, <laughs> yeah. We'll need to use force. The rest of the galaxy isn't just gonna bow down because we tell them to. We'll need the fleets to bring them in line. The other species are scared. They've never faced anything like this before. They don't know what to do. They want us to step forward. They believe in humanity because of you. Your ruthless pursuit of Saren and the Geth, your defiance of the Council, that's what humans are capable of. That's how we can defeat the Reapers. The others will follow us, Shepard. They know where their only hope. We will have a human Council with a human chairman. The Ambassador's right. I may not like it, but we can't deny the truth. Given everything you've done, Commander, the Alliance will want to know who you think our Chairman should be. <laughs> oh! 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 But I should be the Chairman! Shoot! What would be the- what would Tarek Shepard want- what would Tarek Shepard say? He wouldn't- I- Tarek Shepard would want the control for himself. We have determined very clearly that the Tarek Shepard in Mass Effect is not how exactly Tarek Shepard would, would, would roll. Playing Tarek Shepard was probably not the best idea. Let's choose a- let's- let's say a different one. Let's say just some evil asshole was in charge. Well, no, he'd still want to be in charge. Everyone who's a who's horrible would want to be in charge. But the truth is, Ambassador Udina, he sucks. He's a he's been he's been fucking shit since day one. There's no reason for him to be chairman. Fuck him. Fuck Ambassador Udina. I want I want Captain Anderson. We're about to go into war. We need someone with military experience. Someone like Captain Anderson. You make a good case. Captain, are you ready for this? I don't know if any of us are ready for this. But I'll do what I can. So what happens now? Alright, we quit wasting time. You two can argue politics all you want. But the Reapers are still out there. They're coming. And I'm gonna find some way to stop them. With the most amount of explosions possible. Shepard's right. We're headed for war with the Reapers. If we lose, it's the end of all life as we know it. And no other species in the galaxy truly understands what it will take to survive. The other races will have to follow our lead. We need to take control. It's time for humanity to rise up and seize its destiny. And then Captain Anderson becomes evil. Yeah! 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 <laughs> Motherfuckers!
That didn't make any sense. The ending scene there, that's just supposed to show that I took the Renegade ending. Man, I don't give a fuck about any of that. Once, as, as long as I got my buddies Rex and Tally with me, I'll, I don't care if a fucking penis monster was the head of the Citadel. Ah, yes! We beat it! We finally won! Oh, but we there was so much we didn't do, too. I wonder if they include, like, additional time at the end of the game. Like, you know, like a new game plus kind of thing. But listen... For those of you who have watched this Let's Play, thank you. Thank you for watching it. It's been great. We're not done, though. And we don't have any time to waste anymore on this, on this, uh, on this Let's Play. Because we've got to move on to number two. Mass Effect 2! And the difference between the two games is very, very definitive. That Mass Effect 2 does away with a lot of the RPG elements and focuses more on the shooter elements. I don't like that as much. I like the RPG elements, but the fact that it focuses more on the the parts about Mass Effect that work well, that's that's the good point of any game. The fact that it focuses on those things. Oh man. I don't know if Nah, I don't give I don't give a fuck about this ending music. If, if I get <laughs> if my non-profit channel gets <laughs> Ding for shit like this. I don't give a fuck. Oh man, so fucking such a such a like an odd obtuse ending. The fact that I had to make that kind of decision at the very end, like, oh, I think the humans need to be in control. It doesn't matter because I mean I think eventually the humans take control anyway. It's like playing it's an interesting experience. To play a game like like this in a in a mentality that you yourself would not normally share. I mean, some of the decisions I was making were made purely on the idea that I was I was forcing the renegade option. I was going full all on out renegade. But sometimes the things that the renegade would do are not going to be the things that Tyrik would do. I mean, if Tyrik was here sitting down. First off, he wouldn't be sitting down in a chair because he's a goddamn fucking centaur. But, if he was here sitting in this game, I wonder that if he would even care about, you know, any of the decisions that were being made. I, I touched base on that with the decision about the, the humans wanting to be free of the council's leadership. Basically, I ended up supporting them with the decision I ended up making. But the whole idea of Tyrik saying, oh, but we need to be in it for ourselves. He wouldn't have supported that any more or less than, you know, supporting all races. Tyrik was definitely a kind of guy who had very evil intentions, but used everything at his disposal. He was crafty and sneaky. And he, he, he you know, he forced the situation of you know, of going all out to his end. His end goal was different. His end goal is that he wanted to destroy everything and rule the equestrian lands for himself. And he wanted to do away with the My Little Ponies and anything that was, that was filled with friendship and love. The thing is, when we're playing this kind of game, it doesn't always trans uh, translate well. Let's see. Ah, oh, Steve Barr. Ah, oh, I love you, Rex. And who? Fuck, fuck you, Ashley. Fuck you. Where's, where's Tali? Uh, no, no. Where's, where's Tali? Did I miss her? There it is. Liz Sraka. Oh man, Steve Barr and Liz Sraka. Thank you. Thank you. Fuck you, Kaiden. <laughs> oh, thank you, both of you, for joining me in this adventure. Loved having Tali, I loved having Rex. They just, just their straightforward, I loved Rex's attitude of fuck it, just plain fuck it. You know, all, he, he, Rex's character seems so one dimensional when you think about it. But, you know, put yourself, put yourself in his shoes. I wanted, when it came time to when we found out about Saren's, um, 
uh, being able to s summon the uh, solve the genome uh, uh, crisis for the uh, uh, the Krogan. I wanted to help him. I didn't want to kill him, and I didn't want him to stop either. I I wanted to help him. Like I realized that in history, the Krogans are this very like. In history, they were this very totalitarian, war-minded, threatening species. But, you know, evolution can take hold and allow creatures to, to you know, to evolve and, and really take control. So I, I feel like the Krogans could come back and just be maybe a war-minded society, but a war-minded society that can work together with other people. It says it's really all about the Reapers now anyway. So in the next game, let's think about a few things. If we ever comes again to the Krogans, totally all for the Krogans. 100% Krogans for the win. If we if we come across t uh, I I do know, I do know only from a little bit of spoilerage that we do get to see Rex again in the next game. I don't know about Tali, but I sure hope we do. But again, Rex, Tali, in the next game, they're our best buds. We are for them the whole way. If, goddamn, if we have to see Kaiden again. Oh, I am so, I will be so mad. <coughs> and as far as the other characters, you know, Ashley's dead, obviously. And Liara never even mattered. Never even should have had her in the party. But I guess some of you might have been upset if I, if I had not saved her. Was there any way not to save her? I can't imagine there being a way not to save Liara. She was literally part of the main quest progression. I, I suppose, I suppose maybe there would be. I know in Dragon Age Origins, um, there are, there are side characters you could absolutely just walk past, not even realize that they were a party member at all. And that's why I was kind of worried about situations like earlier on with Tali telling her to fuck off and saying, Oh, I don't really want her to fuck off, but that's what Tyrik would say. So, in the next Mass Effect game, a few things will be a little different. Uh, just because we're starting to understand how the game's uh, mentalities work between Paragons and Renegades, and we're also understanding the choices. We're not gonna just go, we're not gonna simply ask ourselves, what is, what would Tyrk do? We're, we're gonna go with the most violently, like here, here's an example. Me and a, me and a friend of mine, uh, Justin, said the same thing once. Whenever we play these kinds of games, the, the answer we usually go with is the one that gets us the most money. So, in the next Mass Effect game, the only thing that will be true is, uh, very special thanks to our family and friends whose patience and support helped us reach for the stars.